what we're seeing today is is just ghastly. Sometimes you you think there aren't words expressive enough for me to express my yeah. distaste for what's going on today. And that brings us to the topic. Yeah, it does. Because one of the things that Paul, that Paul wrote there, that they're unholy, that they're lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. I mean, right that, that alone, uh, without self-control. And so here we are, there was an, um, uh, a Wall Street Journal. A Wall Street Journal is no friend of conservative values or biblical values. That's true. Uh, neither is Stanford University and the University of Massachusetts. But they, they, they did this study, they did this research project where they came out and they revealed, quote, Instagram helps connect and promote a vast network of accounts openly devoted to the commission and purchase of underage sex content. And then it says, and it details how Instagram's recommendation system, quote, connects pedophiles and guides them to content sellers. So here we have this corporation that is owned, you know, by Facebook and Meta. And the they are helping in their algorithms. Algorithms are programs that are written by people. Yeah. And so the official uh, algorithms that they had were promoting and encouraging this this behind the scenes through searches and others, you know, suggestions of of this pedophilia. I mean, how sick is this? And it's 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 the it's it has been the official um, structural software organized, engineered, intended to help promote what we understand is preying on children. And you use the word sick, and that's a good word, but I'm looking at uh, the, the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 18, where it says, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. That is, they suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Uh, their behavior, which is unrighteous, uh, one of the side effects of it, or maybe the main effect, is that they suppress the truth. Yeah. And I can't tell you how many times lately I've just been blown away by the suppression of truth in today's society, like pedophilia. Uh, it, suddenly, you smile and, and you, everything is okay, and, and if you uh, oppose uh, the teaching of pedophilia in, in the public school, you are some kind yeah. of a uh, vermin. Yeah. It's like everything goes. That That's the new mantra, and it's done yeah. at a at a corporate level here. It's interesting that uh, uh, a congressman, he, he says, he tweeted and said this, quote, where is the FBI? Shouldn't heinous crimes like this be its top priority? Or are they too busy classifying concerned parents as domestic extremists to bring down the hammer on these despicable criminals. Uh, another person, Jeffrey Tucker, quotes or tweeted, this is an unbearably shocking story. And keep in mind that Instagram was at the same time blocking accounts that put down masking and lockdowns or otherwise raised questions about, you know, the vaccines or medical things. They were also heavily infiltrated by the feds. So it's interesting that as whoever wrote these, these algorithms... They trained it, because that's what AI does. They trained it to have certain things that were okay and certain things that they felt were even a more priority. But the question is asked, where, 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 where's the FBI? And, and, and Instagram wrote back and said, well, we're, we're looking into claims to curb it. Yeah, you got caught. But if this research by, again, the Wall Street Journal was never done, the, the, the trafficking and the, the immorality that you see in our culture done by official corporate levels, it's, 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 it's absurd. It's, it's obscene. Now, <clears throat> what would turn us in this direction? How is it possible that America, the America uh, post-World War II, the 1950s, 60s, 70s, uh, you know, Ozzy and Harriet, David and Ricky, yeah. you know, and all the, the pleasant <laughs> Yep. All the pleasant family shows and, and America is just a – is settled down. It's calm. Everybody's doing everything that's right. and We're loving each other and taking food to the next door neighbors and going to picnics. Andy Griffith, yep. Andy Griffith. Yep. What's happened, Mondo? What, I'm seriously asking you that question. I think scripture has been fulfilled. 
in that it's only going to get worse. Paul says in that what we read in that Second Timothy three that in the last days these insane insane times we look at this and we go this is insanity. Why would we allow this? Why would the FBI and others not not, not pursue it? Why why why? Scripture is being fulfilled. We're heading to the end of the age. Uh, the tribulation is coming in order to judge this sort of wickedness. And, and and here we are. I mean, that that's what I would say is that the time of repentance, the time of getting right with Jesus, is now. Don't wait because when the when the when the rapture happens, when the church is taken away, yeah, um, we know that our goal is to try to rescue people from that tum- that coming time of judgment, as many people as possible, to be taken away in the rapture of the church. You know, the book of Romans, you know, talks to the Romans. <laughs> and what do we know about first century Rome? Absolute debauchery. Yes. And by the way, pedophilia was a huge, huge part of sexuality expressed in the Roman Empire. And it's just like we've come right around yep. 360 degrees, and here we are, folks. And then, I, and I happen to have my, my Bible open to Romans, and I'm thinking— Paul's writing to the Romans here, and what's he writing about? Debauchery of various yeah. forms, and God's reaction to debauchery. Yeah, God's gonna God's gonna judge the world, and so you know those listening, we just encourage you now's the time to to get right with the Lord and to to embrace the gospel, and not only that, but for your family as well, for for those that you love. 